the Smart Money Trap Scanner Indicator, which is provided by the Trading Finder Group. Traders can access the indicator on the TradingView website through this section, and to learn about how the indicator works and its functionality, they can read this page. To access the indicator on the TradingView website, go to the Indicators section and search for the indicator's name. By selecting the indicator, you can apply it to the chart and run it on your chart. Just make sure to note that this indicator is an invite-only script and you need access to be able to use the indicator on the chart. To get access, go to the Trading Finder website and submit a request for access to this indicator through the Support section. After receiving access, you can add the indicator to your chart. For quick access to this indicator in the middle of the chart, you can also add it to your indicators in TradingView by enabling the Add to Favorites option. Once the indicator is enabled on the charts, it starts identifying and displaying trading opportunities on the chart and generates buy and sell signals for us. The Smart Money Trap Scanner Indicator is a special and practical tool for traders who use the smart money style, allowing them to detect false breakouts of key price levels using this indicator. These false breakouts are usually liquidity traps and market manipulations, which are considered signs of a reversal in the trend structure. When we apply the indicator to the chart, a window appears at the bottom of the chart, which contains a table. In this table, there are 10 different trading symbols, and we can customize and modify each symbol according to our own strategy system. The elements included in the table are the symbols, exchange, DDP percent, time frame, the latest trading signal for each symbol in the selected time period, the signal type, which can be either type A or B, entry price, which shows us the entry point of the signal, and finally, the H signal, which displays the amount of time that has passed since the last signal. The way this indicator works is based on identifying key price levels, so when a breakout occurs, it considers it as a fake breakout, and when there is a pullback to the breakout zone, it issues a buy or sell signal. The main function of this indicator is to detect false breakouts, which are categorized into two types, a sharp reversal, which is type A, and a gradual reversal over 2 to 5 candles, which is considered type B. For example, in this section, the swing that has been identified for us is here, and as the price moves downward, it breaks this level for us. After passing this candle, we see that the price has returned to its own range again, and the first confirmation is given to us in this section, where the price has moved downward, collected the liquidity in this area, and then moved upward again. After passing this section, the indicator waits for the price to return to the breakout zone again, and considers a Fibonacci ratio here. When the price returns to the Fibonacci range of 0 0.618 to 1 and the candle closes above the range, a buy or sell signal is issued. Here we can see that the price moved downward, collected the stop losses below the swing level, and then after that, the candle returned to the range again. The Fibonacci ratio is drawn here, and with the price returning and pulling back to this range, that is, to 0 0.618 and the candle closing within the range, a buy signal is issued for us. As we can see, after that, the price has moved upward. In another section, in this part, some swings have been identified. The price moved downward, collected the liquidity in this area, and then moved upward again. At this point, there is another liquidity sweep. In this section, a fake breakout occurred, and then it returned to the range. And at this point, the Fibonacci ratio is placed. As we can see, in this candle, the price has once again returned to the 0 0.786 level, and then moved back to the pullback area, and a sell signal has been generated for us.
Here, we can see the sell signal and price drop, buy signal and price profit, buy signal and price profit, buy signal and sell signal, all of which show that this strategy offers us a high win rate. In the settings section, under the input part, there are options available to us. In this first box, we can set the calculation period and the swing high and swing low identifiers. The higher we set this value, the swings it identifies will be over longer periods and will be more reliable, but it will detect fewer of them on the chart. The lower we set this value, the swings it identifies will be over shorter periods and will be less reliable, but more trading signals will be generated for us. In the next box, we can specify the maximum number of candles for our entry trigger to be valid. Here, the maximum is set to 5 candles, meaning that after after the price breaks a key level, it has up to 5 candles to return to its range. We can increase or decrease this value based on our strategy system. In the next parameter, we can meticulously set the method for swing analysis which includes two distinct and important modes, All and Custom. By carefully selecting the All mode, all available swings will be thoroughly and comprehensively reviewed. By choosing the custom mode, which is by default the initial and preferred setting, we can precisely specify in the subsequent input the maximum number of swings to be analyzed, along with the price's return to the range and the crucial swing liquidity. By default this is typically set to 50 swings, meaning that the last 50 swings will be carefully and extensively reviewed. In the specific case of swing liquidity and the price returning to the range, the trading strategy will be comprehensively and deeply analyzed. For line, IA tool. In the next input field, we can also specify the maximum number of candles after the price returns to the range, clearly indicating how many candles the price has to pull back to the Fibonacci level and then return to the range again for a valid buy or sell signal to be successfully issued. By default, this is initially set to 4 candles. But within the parameter settings, we can easily specify the exact number of candles after the break and subsequent return to the range. And in this same parameter, we can set the maximum number of candles for a simple, straightforward pullback to the Fibonacci level. In the next section, in the very first input, we can either enable or disable the display of the comprehensive table directly inside the chart interface. If this particular option is disabled, the table will be conveniently shown in the lower panel area, but if it is enabled, the table will seamlessly move from the lower panel to inside the chart and be prominently displayed there. In the next input, we can specify the precise number of trading symbols displayed within the table, which can be set anywhere from 10 to 20 symbols to be carefully and thoroughly reviewed in the table. In the next input, we can set the table display mode, which can be easily switched between extended and basic. By default, it is initially set to extended, where half of the symbols are clearly shown on the left side of the table and the other half are displayed on the right side. In basic mode, the table is presented in a more concise columnar format, say. In the next input, we can select the table size to accurately determine its overall dimensions, and we can also choose the table's preferred display position here. For example, here we select top right, so the table will be prominently displayed at the top right corner of the chart. At the bottom, we can select from symbol number 1 all the way to symbol number 20 and set our desired symbol. Just be absolutely sure to note that based on the number of symbols set here, you can precisely specify which symbols are actually displayed. Currently up to 10 symbols can be displayed, so you can select up to the 10th symbol here. By simply clicking on the symbol section, you can set your personally desired symbol. For example, here I select the S&P 500 symbol and set it here. In the corresponding section, I can set the specific time frame for calculating and accurately identifying signals, which can be the chart's current time frame, 
tick, second, minute, hour, or various other time frames. Similarly you can set other symbols as well. This powerful feature allows you to set multiple symbols, for example the S&P 500 in different time frames. 4 hour, 1 hour, 15 minute, 1 minute, and 5 minute, so you can be consistently informed about the issuance of trading signals for your desired symbol in each and every time frame. Be absolutely sure to keep in mind that this indicator only works effectively in the 1 minute and 5 minute time frames, and if you switch to higher time frames, the indicator will unfortunately not function, and you can only utilize the table section to review trading signals signals. In the last section, you can either enable or disable the alert sending feature when trading signals are generated, set a clear name for the alert, and specify the message frequency mode. There are three distinct and important modes, all, once per bar, and once per bar closed. In all mode, alerts are sent in all possible cases. In once per bar, the alert is sent when a signal is generated and the candle is still actively open. In once per bar closed, the alert is sent only when the candle fully closes and a signal is generated. In the next parameter, you can specify the time zone, such as UTC. In the final section, you can enable or disable the display of input values in the settings panel. By default, this option is enabled, but if you disable it, the input values in the settings panel will be completely and entirely deactivated. This brings us to the very end of the comprehensive tutorial for this indicator. We would be extremely happy if you share your valuable comments and insightful suggestions with us in the comments section.